But the truth is, every antenna is digital as just as much as it is analog. It doesn't really matter. If they are only using the air unit for video, you can use any 5.8 gigahertz antenna you want. And the sponsor for today's video is PCBWay. PCBWay makes custom printed circuit boards. That's what PCB stands for. And they make all kinds of circuit boards with all kinds of components, thousands to choose from. You can design your own circuit board using a design software and then send that file to them and they can create that board for you. They can even put all the components on there so it's ready to go as soon as it gets to your door. But if PCB ways aren't your thing, they also offer rapid prototyping services to include sheet metal bending, CNC machining, injection molding, and even 3D printing in all types of different materials. So if you're interested in that, check them out. I'll have a link to PCB Way down in the description below this video. Now let's get back to some antenna talk. I am Alex Grieve, better known as IB Crazy, and I own video aerial systems. Is there a difference? Do you have to use like DJI antennas with the DJI system, or like that, what's the deal? That's a question I get asked a lot. Like what, what, what's the difference yeah. between digital and an analog antenna? And there isn't any. Um, the antenna doesn't care about what information is being transmitted, it cares about what frequency. So there is no such thing as a digital specific antenna, but there are such thing as dual band antennas because the DJI uses both 5.8 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. So if you're using both frequencies, 2.4 is for telemetry or something, and the 5.8 gigahertz is video. So if you're only running video, just run a 5.8 gigahertz antenna, you're fine. But if you're using all the features of the DJI system, you'll need a dual band antenna, which are frequent. Sometimes they're sold as digital antennas. We actually sell that as a digital antenna. But the truth is, it doesn't really matter. The fact is, the dual band antenna is what matters. So it, it's unfortunate that we had to label it as digital so people actually knew. The truth is every antenna is digital as just as much as it is analog. It's just, just a, a confusing point. Yeah, so if you're using it for radio control, if you're using the, the, the air unit for radio control, that's when the dual band really, really shines. Okay. Because you're again, you're 2.4 gigahertz on control and 5.8 gigahertz on video. So you really want a true dual band antenna. Um, now let me tell you the little secret, not really, it shouldn't be a secret, but most antennas that are labeled dual band aren't. So the only ones that are going to be truly dual band and not scamming you are the ones that publish both radiation plots, the radiation plot for the 2.4 and the 5.8 gigahertz, okay? So if they're not publishing the radiation plots, they're probably full of bull, you know? But if they are, then that's that's how you know, okay, they did their research, they engineered the product right, and you can feel safe using it. You tell me you make the Yeah, we, we do make a dual band. It's got we call it the Blue Beam HD. So Blue Beam system's been the video aero system's kind of like star product line. Um, but we had our, our Blue Beam HD is a 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz antenna wrapped up into one. And the way we did it, um, we use a micro strip, a re, uh, um, that at very specific lengths. So if you're if it's if it's running 2.4 gigahertz, the micro strip actually chokes out the 5.8 gigahertz section of the antenna completely, just based on the wavelength. And so you're only on 2.4 gigahertz at that point. When 5.8 when when the 5.8 gigahertz signal comes through, it can't get through the 2.4 gigahertz pathway. So it effectively shuts down when other signals come through. But it's it's done with physics. It's not like it's active in the antenna. It's just we use micro strips of very specific wavelengths and very specific impedances so that out of band signals can't get through to the other part. And so we have a really, really nice radiation pattern by that. Yeah, it wasn't easy. Nothing about it was easy. And so like, like does that happen really fast? Like does it instantly, super fast? Instantly. Let's imagine that the 5.8 gigahertz is round and uh, 2.4 gigahertz is square. Well, a square peg, a round hole, uh, a, a square peg doesn't go through a round hole. That's effectively what's happening. Or a round peg doesn't fit through a square hole. Okay, same thing. That's the idea is we, we effectively do that. We create that, like a specific system that only lets one through. 
so it, 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 it's like I have, I have a round hole over here and a square hole over here. The square signal can only go through the square side. The round signal can only go through the round side. It's effectively the best way I can describe it because the physics behind it are incredibly complicated. Um, the, I, I, the patent on it alone is 28 pages long. So, uh, yeah, to explain how it works, it's not its not easy. So if somebody does use the DJI air unit yep. system for control and video, then they should definitely check out. Yeah, I would use the Bluebeam HD is what I would use then. If they are only using the air unit for video, you can use any 5.8 gigahertz antenna you want. We have uh, what, what I personally use, because I only use it for video, is our victory antennas. They're really, really tiny. You know, so you don't have these big things protruding that got caught in the bag when you try to put it back. And they're much higher performance than a DJI. So, you know, yeah. But if, but if I were going to use it for control, I would want that Bluebeam HD. Is there any difference between the antennas that go on your goggles for reception or for transmission? The only difference is the direction power is going. If it's a transmitter antenna, power is going out. If it's a receiver antenna, power is coming in. So now there are obviously some antennas that are better at one than the other. Um, but you can use a you can use a directional antenna to transmit. It's just that's a bad idea on an airplane or, or a quadcopter because it's maneuvering. So you're flat, just sweeping that beam all over the all over the place. However. Um, you know, that's why we typically do an Omni that radiates in all directions because it doesn't matter the orientation of the aircraft, the, the, the signal's still spreading out like it should. But, you know, from an observer standpoint, you know, a directional antenna is kind of nice, especially for long range because I'm not wasting trying to listen to signals over here, over here, my airplane's out there, so I can focus that energy out towards my airplane um, and, and get a better signal. So, it, it's, it, it, there isn't you can use an antenna for either transmit or receive. It's just in Ooh, FPV, there are some that are better for one rather than the other. Gotcha. That makes sense. And that would be like the design of it, like sort yeah. of the shape. Well, it, it, typically, uh, and the distinction really is directionality. You know, a directional antenna is typically a receiver antenna. So your higher gain antennas, you want to be on your on your receiver because those reach out further. But um, antennas, the way they work. There's only a certain volume of air that they can transmit or receive. You can manipulate that shape however you want, but you can't make it any larger. And that's what gain is doing, is it's pressing it down to force it out wider or force it out further. So high gain, but that, that, so when you're, you get high gain, your, your radiation pattern starts to flatten out like a disc in an Omni at least. So, you know, if I'm flying along, you know, my radiation pattern's coming out as a disc, it's only this thick. Well, if I turn, I just miss my receiver because right, I'm no I'm not high. transmitting out this way at all because I chose high gain. Two, so, one, so general, high gain oh, receiver, low gain. Give it. Yeah, for FPV at least. There you go. Thank you, man. Uh, I think we covered everything.